To the Mormons, the Latter-day Saints, as you prefer to be called, I pose a request. Remember your history, study it, and recall what you seem to have forgotten in such a short time. The per persecution many of you are so keen on committing against homosexuals is mirrored in your own history. Only you were the victims then. I recall growing up the story of the massacre of Joseph Smith was told many times by the leaders as a reminder that in spite of beliefs, you should never persecute anyone who is different, nor should laws be made to prevent them equal rights. There are some of you standing up for equality now, and it's a sight for sore eyes. In the description, I posted a link of someone retelling the history, which many of you seem to have forgotten. So I offer this plea to all of the church leaders, to the prophets, and to the bishops of the many wards. Commit this tale to memory, and any time you see people struggling for equal rights, recall what bigotry did to the founder of your own religion. Recall the bloody, bloody and needless massacre of someone who challenged the system by being different. In the scriptures used by many Christians, and many more times in the scriptures of the Latter-day Saints, there is a parable oftentimes ignored or forgotten. Though it is often brought up when people tell others to keep their beliefs out of the laws, it is more suited to the struggles for equal rights by the homosexual people today, and should have been recalled when the black people in the U.S. had to fight for their rights in not so distant times. The persecution of Jesus. You can argue about it being real or parable all you want. It does not change the lesson to be had here. Joseph Smith had the same type of persecution. This was not because of the beliefs challenged or threatened to topple the current system. It was because it was different. Revolutionary ideals are always different, and the parallels to the homosexuals are plain to see. The lines are clear as the rainbow itself. So my plea is to the leaders of the Mormon church, recall this tale, the bloody and horrible way that Joseph Smith had to die for his cause. Tell this tale over and over again in the churches. Show the parallels to Jesus and how the gay people of the U.S. are today. Get over your own fear of that which is different and avoid making the same mistakes others made towards your very own first prophet. I respect Joseph Smith, not because I believe that he was divinely inspired or any such thing, but because he stood up for what he believed was right in the face of mortal danger. So impress me and many other atheists. Treat the gay people as friends and allies. Use the strength you have gotten to help win the battle for equality. Bishops, prophets, and all church leaders, you have the power to make this country great and to show that you truly do walk the path of your savior. Do not do this for me, for I have nothing to gain or lose. Do it for those who are suffering at the hands of bullies, those who are being denied a simple right that allows them to remain with their loved ones in a time of crisis. Do this for your own conscience. Do not be like those who murdered your first prophet. Do not be like the one who threw the first stone at Jesus. You are different. Be different. Be better. For unto whom much is given, much is required, and he who sins against the greater light shall receive the greater condemnation.